So the Texas Rangers are currently on an absolute roll. Currently on a six-game win streak, 9-1 and one in their last 10. They only have one loss so far in the month of August. And it's also worth noting that Michael Brousseau has been pretty solid for us since coming over from Tampa Bay. He's slashing 303, 356, 439 through 66 ABs. Not the greatest slugging percentage, but I will gladly take the first two numbers. Just needs to start putting on some more doubles and some home runs possibly. Also, Kyle Gibson in our rotation has been turning things around a bit as well. His ERA is down to 579. His FIP is even below 5. And this is comparing to earlier on in the season when his ERA was in like the high 7s, mid 8s. The Rangers taking on their in-state rival Houston Astros at Minute Maid Park and on the hill for the Rangers is going to be the right-hander Kyle Gibson, who I previously mentioned has been starting to turn things around here in 2020 on a bit of a roll. He'll be opposed by Jose Urquidy, making his 26th start of the season for the Houston Ball Club. And we'll start things off top half of the second inning. Danny Santana at the dish, and he's going right center field. This one's going to get over the head of Springer in center. Center, and Santana is not stopping at two. He's going to chug along into third base with a sliding in triple to lead off the top half of the second inning. Next batter up, Elvis on or later on in the inning with one out, Elvis Andrews hits a little slapper over at Guriel at first base, kicks up over him. That's going to score a run. And then Shinsu Chu ground ball to second base. Altuve muffs it a bit. Can only get one and out with that. So runner on second base, two outs for Andy Abanez. And he's going to hit a slow roller up the middle. And that's going to be an RBI single for the second baseman Abanez. And it's a 2-0 Texas lead. That brings up Michael Brousseau. Line drive up the middle. That's another base knock. Abanez rounding second, heading into third. A bit of a stretch, and he gets in there because Bregman cannot handle a throw. So runners on the corners for Willie Calhoun, who draws himself a walk. So base is juiced for Ronald Guzman, and he whiffs through a pitch down below the zone. So two runs scored for Texas in the second. On to the third now, it's Joey Gallo, hitter of singles through the shift even. Altuve knocks it down in the outfield but cannot make a play. Now with one out, Gallo on first. Chris Herman comes up and he's going to hit a ball down the right field line. That's going to land on the track. Gallo goes to third. Herman's on second. And it's runners on second and third with one out for Elvis Andrews who hits one up the middle. And that's going to score two. A two-run single for Elvis. It's a 4 nothing lead for the Texas Rangers. Bottom half of the third. Check in on Kyle Gibson. Reddick hit one's out the left. And Willie Calhoun making a diving play. Probably didn't need to dive. Maybe he did, though, because he is Willie Calhoun, not the greatest fielder, but he makes the out nonetheless. Move things on top of the fourth now. Willie Calhoun at the dish. That is what he is good at. Rips the ball right center field. That gets down into the gap. Easy two-bagger here with two ads for Willie. So he's on second. Brings up Ronald Guzman. Draws himself a walk. First and second now for Texas. And brings up Joey Gallo, who proceeds to hit a ball on the very down-and-away corner and somehow muscles this one out to left center field over the fence through the little archway. A three-run blast opposite way for Joey Gallo, and that busts this game wide open. A 7-0 lead for the Rangers. That'll end her quitties day as Rogelio Armenteros came on for the Astros. He would get out of that inning. We'll check in with him later on in the game. Bottom of the fifth now, Yuli Gurriel. Slap single for the Astros to lead off the inning. Alex Bregman then comes up, hits one through the left side of the infield. Back-to-back -back base knocks for the Astros. That would bring up Josh Reddick. Hits a little dribbler down the first baseline. Guzman Field steps on the bag. Second and third. One out. They're not even going to bother intentionally walking anybody because of the seven-run lead. So Robinson Chirinos, the former Ranger, hits one down the left field line. That's going to score two. It's an R two-run two single. 7-2 is the score now. One out runner on first brings up Altuve. He's going down the left field line. That's going to be a double. Chirinos is going to get into third base, so second and third. With one out, brings up Jordan, or two outs now, I should say. Jordan Alvarez comes up, ground ball up the middle, and that's going to score two on a two-run single. It's now a 7-4 to four ball game. Move things on top of the sixth. Willie Calhoun, another Blast at the right center for Calhoun, and this one's going to carry over the fence. A solo shot 
for their eighth run of the game. It's now a four-run lead for the Rangers. Runners on the corners in the top of the seventh for Shinsu Chu. And he's going to hit a ball into right field, score another run. It's now a 9-4 to four game. Texas in the lead as the runner is gunned down on third trying to stretch it. Cody Allen came on in the ninth to close things out in a non-save situation. The former Cleveland Indians all-star. And he is going to proceed to give up a double down the line to Yuli Gurriel as he hustles his way into second base. Calhoun has some trouble with it along the wall. So runner on second base, Adalas Garcia would immediately come in to replace Willie Calhoun out there and left. And with Bregman at the plate, he's going to hit a pop fly to deep center field. Gurriel getting ready to tag up. Joey Gallo's throw is on the money. Absolute rocket from center field. A double play thanks to the arm of Joey Gallo. And then Cody Allen would get Josh Reddick to strike out on his knuckle curve. And that would be the end of the game as the Texas Rangers continue on their roll. They win this game by a score of 9-4 over their in-state rival Houston Astros. Willie Calhoun picks up player of the game honors. He had two hits on the day, a home run and a double. Joey Gallo, two hits as well, including a three-run blast. Elvis Andrews, two hits, both singles. And then Chris Herman had himself a double as well, while Kyle Gibson went six, gave up nine hits, three strikeouts, four runs, and one walk. But he does get the win because the Rangers put up nine on the board. We now move way later into September, where the Rangers are nowhere near as hot as they were in the month of August. Only 6-4 and four in their last 10 games, but they are above 500 now in the season at 79-72. and 72, Kind of screwing their draft position for the 2021 season, but what can you do? It's also worth mentioning that Willie Calhoun and Rafael Montero are out with fractured arms and fractured shins, respectively. Out for the rest of the season... Uh, Hunter Cole is up in the big leagues now playing left field because of that Calhoun injury. Leody Tavares is back up as a part of the expanded rosters on the bench. Clayton Andrews replaced Luke Farrell in the bullpen. And also Cody Allen took Montero's spot in the bullpen while Edison Volquez is up as a part of the expanded rosters. The Rangers now travel out to the Midwest to take on the Minnesota Twins, the AL Central leading Minnesota Twins, who will be sending out a familiar face in Mike Miner, the left-hander, the former Texas Ranger making his 31st start of the season. He'll be opposed by the big right-hander in Lance Lynn making his 29th start. Start things off top, bottom half of the first inning, Byron Buxton's going to power one out to right center field, and that speedy man is going to get all the way into second base with a double. Kick things off for the Twins. Next batter up, Jorge Polanco, is going to hit a ball right up the middle into the part of the outfield where it wasn't the shift, and that's going to score Buxton easily. So it's a 1-0 lead for the Twins on the RBI double from Polanco, but then Lynn would clutch up, gets a ground ball from a rise. That's out number one. Next batter up is Miguel Sano. He's going to go down swinging on the curveball, and then that would bring up Nelson Cruz, and for the third out of the inning... He goes swinging on the hammer, so it's a quick three outs to end the inning for Lynn. We move things on to the top of the fourth, where Miner is pitching to Danny Santana. Going to hit a ball down the left field line. That's actually the Rangers' first hit of the ball game, and Santana stretches it into second for a double. Two outs now, Gallo at the dish, check swing, could not pull the trigger, he goes down swinging, still a 1-0 game as Miner gets out of that inning. On to the bottom of the fourth, Luis Arise is going to right center field, that's going to get over the head of the right fielder, Santana, it's a double for Arise. Next batter up is Nelson Cruz, the DH, and he hits one down the left field line, that's going to get Arise into third. And Nelson Cruz is on the first, so runners on the corners with one out for Josh Donaldson. And he's going to ground into a 4-6-3 double play. A very nice turn from Solak at second. And it's still a 1-0 game. Top half of the fifth, Hunter Cole going up the middle. Base knock to kick off the inning. Next batter up, Chris Herman. Lefty on lefty. Ground ball at the shortstop. 6-4-3 double play. Nothing going for the Rangers. Still 1-0, bottom half of the fifth inning. Mitch Garver draws himself a walk to lead off for the Twins. After that, it would be a chopper out to second base. 
They can get the lead runner, but they cannot double up Rosario at first base, so he reaches on the fielder's choice. Runner on first, two outs now for Buxton. Slaps one at the right field. Base knock, first and second. Two outs for Minnesota, brings up Jorge Polanco, who's going to pop one up into shallow right field. Guzman, the first baseman, ranges back, puts it away for out number three. Score remains the same. Top of the sixth now, Isaiah kiner falefa the catcher on the day, hits one down the left field line, and he's going to stretch that one into second for a double. So he's in scoring position right off the bat. One out now in the inning, Michael Brousseau powers one to deep center field, but not deep enough. Dies out at the track. Falefa tags up from second base. He's now in scoring. He's now over to third with two outs. Brings up Danny Santana, who is hit by the pitch. Knuckle Curve gets away from Miner, so runners on the corners for Joey Gallo with a chance to do some damage, and he's whiffing through the slider as his struggles continue. We now move things on to the top of the seventh. Hunter Cole going to draw himself a walk to lead off the inning, and that would end Mike Miner's day. A fantastic day on the hill for the former Ranger against his former team. He t gives the crowd a tip of his cap. That'll end his day as... Sergio Romo comes on for the Twins out of the bullpen, and he comes on throwing 54 mile an hour fastballs, just absolutely screwing with timing. Chris Herman strikes out, Ronald Guzman strikes out, and then that would bring up Nick Solak, where a pitch he swings through gets away from Garver. Cole tries to move up, but he's end up getting gunned down at second base for the third out of the inning. So the score remains 1-0. On to the bottom of the seventh, it's going to be Rosario hitting one through the shift, and he's going to be able to leg out a double for that one as the ball rolls out to deep left center field. So he's in second base now with two outs, but then Max Kepler goes down swinging as Lance, Lance Lynn goes seven strong on the day. Move things on to the bottom of the eighth where Shane Carl came on for the Rangers. Byron Buxton at the dish to lead things off, and that's a base knock out to right field. So a single for Buxton. Next batter up is Jorge Polanco. And with the speedy Buxton on first base, Polanco hits a single up the middle, but even Buxton is not going to test Joey Gallo's arm. So it's first and second. Nobody out still. Luis Arias grabs into a 4-6-3 double play. So runner on third with two outs for Miguel Sano. And he is not going to be able to do anything as Shane Carl shuts the door here in the eighth inning. Still a 1-0 game. We're now on to the top of the ninth. Trevor May comes on looking for the save, the Twitch streamer himself. Michael Brousseau out to left center field. It's going to be tracked down in the gap by Rosario, though, so that's one down. Next batter up is Santana. He's drawn himself a walk, so a one-out walk. That brings up Joey Gallo. He's going to whiff through a pitch. Now they're down to their final out. And to pinch hit for Hunter Cole, it is Shin Su Chu off the bench. So he steps into the batter's box, immediately works a 3-1 count, and he is absolutely pulverizing this one into the right field seats. A two-run shot. Their only runs of the ball game come in the ninth inning off the closer, Trevor May. A pinch hit two-run shot for Shin Su Chu. Gives the Rangers their lead. Jose Leclerc then comes on looking for the save in the bottom of the ninth with some defense. Defensive replacements behind him, Adalas Garcia in left, Brousseau moves to third, while Andres comes in to play shortstop. So, bottom of the ninth, strikeout, first batter, Nelson Cruz. After that, it is Josh Donaldson getting plunked as the fastball gets away from Leclerc. Next batter up, or with Nick Gordon pinch running, Next batter up is Mitch Garver. He's got a fastball that he's whiffing right through for out number two. And then it brings up Rosario, who swings on a fastball that's absolutely nowhere near the zone. That's going to end up on Pitching Ninja as a sword. And that would close the door in their face. Jose Leclerc gets the save. And Shinsu Chu with the go-ahead home run on the top of the ninth as Trevor May blows the save. And the Texas Rangers win this ball game over the Minnesota Twins here in Minnesota. Shinsu Chu, obviously player of the game honors. Only one hit, but it was the two-run shot to give them the lead. Shane Carl the win, Trevor May the loss, and Jose Leclerc the save. And with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of the Texas Rangers franchise. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I am saying, West Side Gun, pray for Paris, listen to it.